Wow. I mean, this is the perfect dough that you can make ever for your pizza, for your focaccia, for your bread. Yes, because here today I'm going to show you how to make uh, three different things with one dough only. Hard to believe? Yes. But with Maestro Video Copelli, everything is possible. guys welcome back from my story to copelli Woo! just just excited to go and the most interesting thing is this I, I have to show you take a look we got bread we got focaccia and we got pizza guys the most important things is I made everything from one dough and then today I'm here to show you how to make just one dough for all of these three things the most important things, the pizza, the bread, the focaccia. Take a look, take a look. Yes, the focaccia. Guys, please try to follow whole video because this is something amazing, something outstanding, something that comes out from the inside of me. Enjoy this video. Of course, we start from the respite. Let's go. Okay guys, the first thing to prep here is the Polish. Always prepare your yeast the day before to make the product more fragrant, light and digestible. It's very easy, simple steps and this one will change your game. Let's, get see, let's see what we need to make the Polish. The Polish is a pre-fermented dough. It's very simple to make, so we need just 400 milligrams of water, room temperature. 400 grams of uh, flour, so it's equals. Then we're gonna use uh, five grams of uh, fresh yeast. But if you're using dry yeast, go with half amount, so two grams and a half of dry yeast. In this case today, we're gonna use uh, five grams of uh, fresh yeast. I almost forgot, let's put five grams of uh, honey. It's gonna be like a liquid of pre-fermented dough. And of course, this one, we're gonna seal it really, really, really good. I know it seems a little bit complicated, but it's actually really, really easy to make if you follow all the steps. Okay, so now pay attention. One hour at room temperature and overnight, even if you make it in the morning, all day overnight in the fridge. The goal is 24 hours, but it also is good just overnight. One hour at room temperature, and then overnight and then overnight in the fridge all you need there we go this is the polish after resting in the fridge overnight this is how you find it voila let's take off all the air wow so for this recipe we're gonna keep it really really simple you need to add uh, from the polish that we had, uh, so this one was 400 milligrams of water, 400 grams of flour, and then a little bit of uh, 5 grams of yeast and a little bit of honey. Then we're going to add only 180 grams of flour and a teaspoon of uh, sea salt. Add the flour, the salt, mix everything, and little by little, let's go ahead and let's dump the polish. Now mix until the flour is all integrated with the, with the dough. I love this wood box. <laughs> now available. Now available. Just email me. Link, no link. Actually right now we are working on a link to get this on internet. But if you wanted that before, just email me. The email is on my description. Perfect, all the flour is uh, all together. Okay, now we're gonna cover. We're gonna let it rest the dough for one hour. At room temperature. And, uh, here you go, how we find the dough after exactly one hour. So now we're gonna go ahead and make the balls. We're gonna make balls of 250 grams each. This way. Okay. 
Now let's get a box. If you don't have a box like this, and use a regular sheet pen. There we go. Now let's let it rest for three, four, three to four hours at room temperature. Heat can change depends on the, your, your room temperature. The dough needs to just double up the side. So usually it takes three to four hours. Dough is ready and easy after three hours at room temperature. Take a look of this dough. Amazing, nicely, nicely and softly. Wow. I mean, this is the perfect dough that you can make ever for your pizza, for your focaccia, for your bread. I'm going to show you uh, what we need exactly to make. Also, we're going to make the Neapolitan style pizza at home. And this is everything simple and easy to do. So let's get into it. This one, we're gonna make some focaccia. In this one, we need, we need to put the bread. Let's get started with these two things first and then we're gonna make the pizza. So we're gonna start with these two things because uh, just, for, just for a reason, because uh, the only thing that is gonna change here is the timing of resting between the pizza, the bread and the focaccia. But uh, with one dough, we are able to make these three things. How exciting is this? Amazing. Uh oh, I almost forgot. One of the most fundamental things that you need to know when you make pizza. Warm up the oven before you make the pizza. So let's go ahead, let's fire up the oven at the max temperature. So in this case, 500, because that's the oven it gets only to 500. Let's, so let's go ahead and let's turn it on the oven. Now we turn around the oven and uh, make sure you have the pizza stone inside the oven or in this case I have uh, bricks, I'm going to show you. Yes, you can get these bricks in uh, Amazon, just click on the link below on the description and get these bricks because those bricks are the best, they never crack. They hold the temperature really well and they are the best to make the pizza. So now that we are done with the oven, let's get back with the focaccia. Like this t-shirt. Take a look. Take a look at this t-shirt. Let's go see and let's make this focaccia happen. So first of all, let's put uh, uh, quite a bit of uh, olive oil inside the pan. Let's make sure it gets everywhere, just like that. Now, your hand, a little bit of uh, olive oil, a uh, little bit of uh, olive oil on your hand, and let's take the dough bone that we want to make the focaccia. So gently, we're gonna go ahead and make the ball again. Just gently, you don't wanna take off all the air. Just gently, you made the ball again, and now let's go ahead and let's add the dough in the pan just like that simply how easy is that simply done so now let's cover up with a plastic wrap so in this case we're gonna go ahead now and we're gonna cover gently with the plastic wrap touching the focaccia done so now we let it rest until the dough is double up the side now let's get into let's making the bread the bread actually is the most simple thing to make there we go. So, how they, how I used to do it when I was in Italy, in Naples, I used to get two dough balls, and then we put it down, simply. Then we get another one, and then we put it face to face, just like that. Now we take it out from the box, and then we're gonna go ahead and do some. In this case, the opposite of the focaccia, we're gonna go ahead and take off everything, all the air to the crust. So just like that see i'm putting it in and i'm keeping this part always on top so i close it just this way so you hold it from one side you hold it from these sides and you go ahead and close the the door simply done look at this this is the simplest the simple thing ever to make the bread done now Get a pen, get a sheet pen, or get a, a, a cutting board or whatever. Put a little bit of flour on top of the pan, not too much. Nah. 
let's go ahead and let's put our bread here but make sure the air is all out from the bread this is the easiest thing ever we can instead of putting plastic wrap for the bread we're gonna use a towel so we're gonna gently just land it on top of the bread done uh, we, now we let it rest for about uh, two hours at room temperature perfect now that we have uh, the bread resting we have the focaccia resting we are ready to make the best pizza you can make in your house from just one dough so let's go see how to make this pizza and then wait until the end because we're gonna cook some bread and the focaccia because you have to see the results so now is the right moment to put a like let's get to let's make this video to 10,000 likes let's go okay three tips really important just three when you make pizza home the stone in the oven needs to be in temperature so oven in temperature number two you have to have all the ingredients ready before you make the pizza number three the dough needs to reach the point of fermentation so how you see that when the dough is double the size the dough is nice and ready just like that did you see the dough is nice and smooth and then when you touch it it's gonna be soft and you have to feel under your hand all the air under the crust this is the right point of the dough this is ready to rock and roll and now guys the oven is at temperature and we are ready to make the pizza In this video i'm going to show you how to properly stretch the pizza with tecnica allo schiaffo so clap technique put a little bit of flour on top make sure the counter is nice and dry so let's put it down the goal is to put the air on the crust so we're gonna go ahead gently we're gonna stretch uh, we're gonna press just like that see the air is going all over the crust so now let's flip it over one more time and let's press more so remember it's three three steps put your hand on top of the dough and then go your left hand is gonna go towards you then take off all the flour let's flip it over one more time and then we press more so now right hand you press left hand you pull but the dough is soft so pull less then you turn it then pull press pull press and pull see simply with your right hand you measure the dough and done the top part stays on top the bottom part stays on top on the bottom so this is uh, how we take it out from the box so let's put the tomato sauce couple of spoon in the center and now let's go ahead and let's turn it until you get like a uh, one inches to the crust this is a classic Rio Neapolitan pizza at home there we go now because the oven is not hot enough we're gonna go ahead and uh, park, park cook the pizza because we don't want to burn the mozzarella so then now let's pinch it and then let's put the peel under so pay attention to this pinch it and peel under now let's make the pizza the size of the peel so it's about 12 inches let's go ahead and let's put it in the oven there we go let's put the pizza on top of the bricks voila let's close it and let's cook the pizza until is uh, gold color usually these things it takes four minutes about four or five minutes pizza is ready there we go see it's par, par bake so now let's go ahead and let's put more ingredients all of our on the crust just like that because that is gonna help to color a little bit the crust because when you cook uh, when you cook a low temperature the pizza is gonna look like a little bit white so be careful it's hot so you don't want to burn yourself now let's go ahead and let's put more ingredients now we are ready to go ahead and cook the pizza until the mozzarella 
is bubbling so the mozz the pizza will be ready when the mozzarella will bubbling so let, and usually this one takes another three to four minutes let's go ahead and put it in the oven So now let's put some basil to make the pizza nicely and perfect. To make the pizza nice and perfect. Voila. Little bit of uh, olive oil on top. Voila. And the pizza. And the pizza is nicely done. Let's go ahead and let's see the inside of the crust. Take a look. Nice and soft and lovely. Take a little take a look of this nice slice of pizza. And of course this pizza came out lovely. And now let's go see the bread and the focaccia because they've been resting for a little bit. The focaccia is ready. The bread we have to keep it always a little bit longer. So let's go ahead and let's make the focaccia. Switch! There we go. That's the focaccia. It double up the side, like you can see. Amazing, really soft and sticky. Amazing, that's what we want. A little bit of uh, olive oil on top. And uh, let's press gently. We want to make sure the, the, the dough is not sticky to the pan. So just gently go ahead and lift it up. There you go. If you feel that it's sticky, just go ahead and press. Go ahead and press the dough. Just gently. So remember the tomato needs to be squeezed on the focaccia. Let's let it rest 15 minutes just like that that the tomato sits in the focaccia and then we're ready to go ahead and cook it. Here you go, 10 minutes pass by, let's go in the oven. Always you gotta cook the food like you want it, like you like it. Let's go in the oven. Let's place it and now let's go get the bread because the bread is also ready. Here you go guys, this is the bread. Voila! Like you can see, it gets a little bit of crust on top. So make sure you do this step. Put a little bit of flour on top. Now we're gonna go ahead and flip it over and wait until it is detached from the pan. If it doesn't detach, help with a spatula. But usually it gets detached by itself. There we go. Fantastic. This is how we find the bread. So make sure you don't touch it at all. Let's use the peel to get the bread on the peel. If you don't have the peel, we can go ahead and just keep it on the, we have to go ahead and put it on top of the, the pan. Just like that, we're gonna go ahead and put it on the peel. Voila. So simply, let's put some uh, flour on top of the bread, just like that, and then let's give it a three cut. One, two, and three. Gently, we don't wanna take out all the air. Use a knife that cuts, not like this one. This one doesn't cut at all. Make sure it's not sticky, and let's go ahead and let's cook it in the oven together with the focaccia. There we go. Now let's go ahead and let's leave it in the oven on top of the, the bricks. Now let's wait about 20 to 25 minutes. And always, like I do all this food, and now it's time to go ahead and clean the kitchen. Either wise, sono cavoli. They're a mess. See, this is the mess that I make every time in the kitchen. So let's go and let's clean. Non più dry farfalon amoroso, notte giorno di torno gira. Wow, outstanding, outstanding. Take a look at this bread.
nice soft wow take a look of this bread wow empty empty can't wait to show you the inside Empty too. Wow. Can't wait. Let's see. Let's see the inside. out of this world guys did you see what we just made i mean take a look of this bread take a look guys one though three different thing guys take a look of this focaccia take a look what about the pizza <laughs> Mwah, wow smells really good guys it's, i mean Help me bring in this video to millions of views because this this food, this passion deserves deserves to be viewed from you. Yes, amazing. Mm. Mm. Of course, really good. It's a little bit cold because I was waiting to cook all three. It's amazing. Take a look of this bread. Wow! Out of this world. Simply, easy, fast, so soft. my favorite wow 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 this is this is outstanding share this video and then hopefully you will remake this amazing food Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you at the next one. From Maestro Video Copelli. Thank you so much. Wow. Make love with food. It's the best thing. Make love.